Hi, I'm Chris Peacock, and this is Vikings, Season 2, Episode 4, Eye for an Eye. Um, so since watching the last episode, I've thought about it some more, trying to figure out where the treachery was. The only thing I could possibly think of... Unless the writers really did mean uh, but that by invading them, that was treachery. But I don't... He, he wasn't allied with them. If you're not allied with someone, you can't betray them. And to be treacherous, you need to be betraying. Anyway... The only thing I can think of is uh, Rolo kind of betrayed the town by going and leaving, but he was also told that that was his duty to go protect second wife who I don't like <laughs> and the kids who uh, the second wife who I don't like I do kind I don't know why I don't know her name. I, I I knew it as of like five minutes ago, and I'm just drawing a blank. As far as the kids, though, I don't know any other names. Uh, anyway, uh, he was told to go protect them, so it's not like he, he actually did any betraying there. Um, and nobody... Like, earlier in the episode, I was thinking it might be Floki or uh, Athelstein, and neither of them did, unless... It was very subtle. Um, and nobody betrayed the king in uh, England. I don't know. It was a good episode, but there was no treachery anywhere to be seen. So this one's an eye for an eye. I, uh, I don't know... I, I don't think that Ragnar and his group are going to be returning this episode. I think they're still going to be dealing with England. So, I don't know... I don't know how long it's going to be before they come back. And... I don't think Rolo can mount any kind of... Uh, retaliation. He didn't take any men with him, and any men that he would have taken with him would have been the same ones that weren't good enough anyway. I don't know. Well, I guess I'll just start the episode. <laughs> so, was the treachery Athel Athelstan's treachery to the Christian church? Because that, 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 that was treachery. And I know they talked about uh, uh, Rolo did have treachery episodes ago. Yes, to uh, Ragnar that led to the Brothers' War that wasn't really a war, it was a battle, but whatever. Uh, Yes, that treachery, but also the treachery uh, to the other Jarl by giving up. That was treachery to him. But that wasn't last episode. That was epi that was a couple episodes ago. But the, the thing with Athelstan, Athelstan did betray his church last episode. So that's treachery. It wasn't the most important thing that happened last episode, but still, it happened. We'll stay here! No, stop. I'm not staying there. It looks disgusting. Princess, it'll be winter soon enough. We will survive this. Believe me, you and I can survive this. It'll make you stronger. It will make your son stronger also. People of Katagans, I am Jarlborg of Jotaland. I see an eagle. I see that an eagle hovers over you. But I also see that you yourself are the eagle. An eagle is a good sign. 
always in the sagas a good sign. And the eagle is your destiny, Jarlborg. Was that an eagle head? There will be an exchange of hostages before we begin. <laughs> and who are we to deliver into their uh, tender care? You. My son. Oh, no, him. Yeah. Aethelwolf. Look at the boys. Already so thin, so sickly. I can't stay here. You have to stay here. Look, I know this is not what you are used to, but you will get used to it. We won't stay here. All right, whatever. Go ahead and leave. I won't go around anyway. Ragnar is the prisoner. Or the hostage. That makes sense. I kind of forget that Ragnar is technically not in charge because uh, the king is here. Which would put Ragnar as the second in command, really. I don't, I don't even know if that's true. Because the king did bring his own kids. And I think he brought two and one died, right? So he still has the one here. I think he brought two. I know he brought two to town. I don't know if they... I know he brought two to uh, to town to meet up with Ragnar, but then I don't know if they both made it here because we didn't get every ship we brought with us didn't make it here. So I don't know if one was on that, but one definitely did get killed in the ambush. No, I think the younger guy that was with them in this in this trip up here was his other son. So they just, they they must have been on the same ship with him, which makes sense that they'd be on the same ship. But yeah, I guess no one here would know that that's the king's son, so Ragnar would be second in command, assuming that the king's son doesn't outrank Ragnar. I have no idea if he does or not. I mean, Ragnar's still really in charge. I don't care if the king is here. Ragnar's in charge. But on paper, not that this is on paper, so I don't care if King Horg is here. Will you not join me? This is a meeting of the two Ragnar people in charge. Lothbrook. The water is very temperate. I don't care about treasure. I'm a very uh, curious man. I want to see your lands and I want to see how you farm them. I am an ambitious man. Mm -hmm. I have great plans. And you and your warriors could help me to fulfill them. You might offer us land. And you believed him? Can you trust him, this Christian? He wants something in return. Welcome. Thank you, my lord. I bring grave news for Ragnar Lothbrok. Now Jarlborg lives in your great hall and rules in your place. Okay. I didn't expect anyone to come tell them this. He can do the talking. Asustan is a free man. It is his choice. If I can be of help to King Horik, then I am happy to stay. I'm surprised to hear you say that. If you change your mind, your friends will be leaving at first light. May Thor fill yourselves to the place of vengeance. Considering it's King Horik's fault that this happened in the first place, really should become a I understand why he's not. One, he's self-serving. And two, this is also important. He will come back to fight for his lands and we must help him. We can't. But you used to... It's not Ursigvar's core. Why should he fight to restore Ragnar's lands? We can mount raids on his outposts. Disrupt his supplies. That's good. Sooner or later, my brother will return. And in the meantime, our task is to keep his memory alive. A year ago, you would not have spoken like this. My brother forgave me. Something I thought impossible. When I searched my heart, I discovered that I always loved him. Okay, he, there's no way. 
he's not going to say yes. I don't want to talk about your ex-husband. He used to own your body. And now I own it. So, come to bed. It would be in your interest to intervene in this affair. Alright, I am interested in her playing mind games. But it suddenly occurred to me... I remember last episode I said I wanted her to kill him and not uh, Bjorn. But I just realized she probably couldn't... If she kills him, it's just murder. If Bjorn kills him, he could do it as a challenge to become Earl in his place, couldn't he? I don't know if he could. I still don't know how that works. Like, I know when Ragnar did it, the challenge was accepted. But the challenge could have easily not been accepted. And then what would have happened if Ragnar had killed him? It just would have been murder. I don't know. I want Bjorn to challenge him and become Earl. <laughs> but I don't know if he, I don't know if Bjorn challenged him if that would do anything other than get laughed at. But I think it, I don't think she can challenge him. I don't think can she, uh, can she? I would assume she can't. I know she could kill him. I have no doubt in my mind she'd win in a fight between the two of them. But I don't think it would amount. I don't think it would matter. It would just be murder. After Ragnar, you will be next. Don't you understand? Forget Ragnar. Don't! I am your husband. Don't ever treat me like your boy. I'm your wife. Yeah, I knew. I knew she'd win if it came to a fight. Sleep. Go to bed. Don't get in trouble looking at that. Yeah, well, there's some symbolism. <laughs> is he back already, or is she hallucinating? Seems too soon for him to be back. Sometimes they, they kind of jump around in the time. Like, not jump around, but like, because they don't go back to this. Ziggy sent a boy to tell me. A farmer's son. Take me there. Tomorrow. After you have slept. I shan't sleep. Your bog is taking away my sleep. Thor was angry with us. He beat his anvil. And the waves grew ever taller, soaked the boats, and one went down. At first light, we saw another had vanished. Seems like an odd thing to have happen off screen, but man. So are they going to be attacked? You're the only one left? Really? Hello, son. I am glad nothing happened to the kids. Did you call him? His name is Seagat Snake in the Eye. It is not a curse. It is a blessing. I want to destroy your walk. I want to make him suffer as he has made my family suffer. I want to kill that mother storm with my bare hands. Then I must be frank with you, brother. I know you lost boats in a storm, but it's a pity you didn't return with more men. As it is, we have no chance of defeating your lord. Surely the gods will reward handsomely anyone strong enough to defeat him. After all, they have never taken kindly on those who seek to join them. 
pretending in their vanity to be gods themselves. I will kill them! Yeah! If you say so. Wait! <laughs> cut him down. I said cut him down. It has been a long time. Hello, Ragnar. And you are? I'm your son. Father. I always knew in my heart that I would see you again. So, what happened to the other... What happened to the other girl? Did he get ah. killed? For a long time, Father, I feel I've carried nothing else but memories. But now, here in this place, with you and with my mother, I feel... reborn. I'm kind of disappointed, but... <laughs> that happened off screen. Like, how did they get these men? Did they kill the other guy? Well, that was a good episode. Uh, probably the two most interesting things that happened in the entire episode happened off screen, though. Uh, the, the storm at sea where they lost two ships off screen. And however they got those men happened off screen. I'm still a little confused about Athelstan getting crucified, but I don't know. I was never really a history major, so even though, I mean, I was good with history, but not exceedingly so. So I don't really know if crucifixion was still used I mean, I suppose it must have been, but it doesn't seem like Christians would be using it. I'm sure the show did their research. Uh, so, yeah. It just seems really stupid. <laughs> Not on the show's part. I'm, I'm sure that's accurate. I'm sure... They were that stupid. Like, there is no way that crucifixion would be okay. Even even if you're an atheist, the, just pretend for a minute that you're not. God exists. Jesus exists. Just even, again, just pretend. There is no way that that would be what they would want you to do there. <laughs> no way. Again, those are believers. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you're an atheist. The people doing it were not. <laughs> oh, I know, though. Stupid things always happen in the name of religion, so... I, it's not that the show was inaccurate. It's that... People are inaccurate. Because, again... Assuming... That Jesus... Is the Son of God... And he died for our sins and all... Like, assuming that was all true... There is no way that that would be what he would tell you to like. If he had, if he was there, if he was in person, physically there, and they said, "Should we crucify this man?" Jesus would not be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I want you to do. 
<laughs> Not a chance. Oh well. Uh And again, if you're an atheist, then you could still look at it as those people are still like again, it doesn't matter what we the audience believe. It's what the characters believe. And I don't know, even at the time I would say that goes against the the teachings of Christianity. But again, I am well aware in history that people have done stupid things in the name of religion and evil things in the name of religion. Just because it doesn't actually go with the doctrine of the religion, and I'm not just talking Christianity, every religion. There's been extremists and... Anyway, I'm not going to stop talking about religion because I don't like talking about it. Especially when I'm not actually talking to anybody. I'm talking into a camera and no one's saying anything and it's awkward. So, uh, yeah, I'm done talking about religion probably forever on this channel, to be honest with you. That just... That bugged me. And again, I don't actually think it was an inaccuracy on the show's part, so it didn't bug me in that way. It just bugged me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end it here. Uh, it was a good episode, even though I do think it could have stood to be two episodes, to be honest. Um... I really, really wanted to see what happened with the the other Earl, like uh, Lagatha's husband. Like, what happened? At least tell us. <laughs> but I actually wanted to see it. I can't see any possible way that guy is still alive. He he, he might be. But if he is, I don't know how. <laughs> Alright, now I really am going to end it here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. I guess next time... Yarrow Borg is... Well... Something to do with an eagle. <laughs> See you then.